make our sidewalks be wide enough to be bicycle friendly, bicycle and pedestrian friendly. Or widen them and just designate them as multi-mode. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because people ride their bike on the sidewalk on Venus and they're safe because they're way over there where they're not going to get run down. Yes. Um, but then, you know, when they once they get to Northside Drive or maybe even to Perimeter, there's not a bike lane on the sidewalk anymore. So then they're stuck onto the road briefly. Or onto the side of the road where they have to go up and down the so, you know, <coughs> driveways. An opportunity would be to put sidewalks just the, the rest of the way along Venus coming into town. Mm -hmm. I thought there was the difference between multi purpose mat and sidewalk was literally, I thought it was width. The width? Yeah, yeah there is. So, like William Street um, in. Uh, and okay, then Venus is the bike lane. That's part of the Azalea City Trail that's built to multi use trail standards. Um, so, you're allowed to bike on that. It's width, and you also have to mark it. Right. right. They recently put up signs saying it's But I agree, Gretchen, that could be definitely an opportunity where I think people ride on sidewalks, myself included, at certain times, just safety. Yeah. 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 So let's, let's where we have the sidewalks, let's widen them up and make them safe for bikes. And right. then we don't have to worry about the... And I think we have that in there, don't we? Don't where, yeah. where is it? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's under the sidewalks. Yeah. Widen yeah. them so that they okay. can use bikes. Like, what's okay. the pedestrian? Right. And it's not just a city. There is a bicycle route 10 that is through the county. That's what bicycles are right there. Why bicycles? Yes, they brought it. Yeah, part of it's on St. Augustine Road. And I haven't tried biking on that. I don't know like where you go by. Well, in part of it where it's on 122, they have the rumble strips where the bikers would be riding. So they either have to ride in the drive lane or on the rumble strip. Right. So that's not very kind to them. No, I forget, is it Valdale or Skipper Bridge? Skipper Bridge. <coughs> Skipper Bridge, and of course there's no bicycle lane on Skipper Bridge, so that's an opportunity for the county. Is that where the designated bike ride is? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's got signs, just got no bicycle lane. <laughs> and you do see people riding on it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Valdale, Skipper Bridge, Valdale, Skipper Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Now that was recently widened, just not widened to include the lane. Right. No, Skipper Bridge is the bike ride. Oh, not Valdale? No. Gretchen, when you mentioned the sign, it came down 41. My daily paths and all, I'm near the mall very <coughs> often, and there seem to be uh, uh, people walking from maybe is it Blanton Commons and living there, actually walking to their jobs mm -hmm. at the mall, and there's no sidewalk, and it is, and it makes it that much harder to notice the persons there. And I just about saw a wipeout just about a week ago. Uh, someone went to turn off into one of these little obscure parking lots or garages or something on St. Augustine before the mall, and all of a sudden there was a person walking, and there was all this brake slamming going on, and the walker was scared to death. The person driving was all flustered, and uh, and I don't know. I just. That's an area where there's a lot of traffic, and a sidewalk might really be beneficial there for safety. And 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 the safety is, I mean, there's plenty of room for them to walk on the side of the road, but a sidewalk even helps you notice a walker. Right. And then closer where uh, TJ Maxx and all that is, during this time where there's so much travel and spring break. There's people out there crossing those intersections, like waiting for the light to change, sitting there. Oh, oh, oh. And I would say, do you like taking your life in your hands? There's people out there like me driving, and you know, they're, and they're waiting for those crosswalks. This, you know, I mean, they're, they probably got they them organized the best they, they can. The Actually, you know, the best they can. The but, the but uh, <coughs> I don't know if people realize what what dangerous intersection they're allowing themselves to be a pedestrian. So, I even crossing Ashley Street. I mean, I see people crossing Ashley Street. I'm thinking, oh man, it's like y'all just mentioned these roads that say cross traffic doesn't stop. They say I'm gonna have to go riding around and see. I ain't even seen one of those. No. <laughs> so, but you know, maybe may, maybe for the sake of the person that's not from here, maybe something should say. Dangerous, in a very dangerous intersection. Just a little small 
something out there at those right by the mall because I've, I've been sitting there thinking, man, those people don't know what well, kind of road they're Well, and besides, we suddenly have car crashes too. It's not just dangerous for the pedestrians, it's dangerous for the drivers. But well, if you're driving a car, you've got a little bit more so chance of survival. Well, not that poor but motorcycle guy that pulled out a no, horse and did. got Not the motorcycle killed. guy. While we're on the topic of sidewalks, um, I, can, I can use an example here. Um, so you have this stretch of bay tree between Orto and the railroad tracks. And there's a sidewalk on only one side. But it's not the side that you have the two hotels on, the Walgreens, the movie theater, right. and the office max, or any of the other restaurants. And, and the things that you want to go to. And the, yes, exactly. So I'm a, I'm a runner, see. So I, you know, sometimes will jog from my neighborhood in Wood Valley down to VSU and back. And I can't necessarily do that comfortably. I'm having to dodge ditches and things like that. But, and it goes into another issue. You have, um, at Gornto and Baytree, you know, the intersection right there, there are no crosswalk signals. And that's something else that I see as an issue with transportation. Um, some places that don't have crosswalk signals that probably need them, whether it be around the mall, down on Venus Road. Um, a lot of signals here don't have the little timers on them. Mm -hmm. So you, have, you know how much time you have left until the light turns yellow and eventually red. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I so you see in the DSU, but yeah. nowhere else within the city limits. Uh -huh. And Athens, I went to school at Georgia. Athens had um, every intersection mm -hmm. within Clark mm -hmm. County. So it could help people gauge when the light was going to change. And it's kind of tough without that, because you're technically not supposed to cross, but people will do it anyways. But that's, that's what I see as an issue. Well, by the way, Jason was right. In 41 is also a bike route, bike route 15. Well, we're talking about is by group 10. And the SDRC has this great Southern Georgia bicycle map. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's right. And Ariel also, I think, probably, you know, <coughs> there's one bullet point there are professional transportation planners working in the area. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably could be better stated just talking about just the presence of the NPO. That's mm -hmm. an opportunity that we have is, you know, we get federal and state help to have professional transportation planners who pretty much solely focus on a transportation system. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, um, okay I've got uh, 6.51. Um, uh, we should probably wrap things up. I bet you all would like to go home <laughs> at some point. And um, any last thoughts on transportation before we uh, talk about scheduling the next workshop? Just appreciate the attendance and the conversation very much. Yeah. So thank you all. Um, so we've just got two last sections to get through, um, <coughs> so probably next workshop we'll just look at community facility and services and intergovernmental coordination, and we'll probably get our teeth <coughs> into the policies a little bit, so uh, the hard part is over, I would say, or maybe it's the fun part that's over. Anyway, <laughs> so um, do you all want to aim for another workshop in two weeks, preserving the same time like we've been doing? The one in two weeks arrow coincides with the planning commission work session. Okay, so we'll have to. Um, and we have to know. do that because you and Matt are stuck over in the other room. Not necessarily <coughs> stuck, but it also helps because it helps encourage planning commissioners to attend that meeting. Yeah, come participate by the already here. Okay. So, but yes, yeah, so I mean we can, but I. I know it may cause logistical heartache to switch buildings, but the advent, the advantage is we potentially pull some of them to the table. Which is Good. And how many items do you all have? We have uh, so far we have two. Okay. So we have, uh, the tricky thing is um, it's uh, if the um, if, uh, workshop start gets delayed, and I've been told by my um, uh, powers that be uh, over my head not to schedule another one on the same night as the Planning Commission due to that possible delay. Okay. So that's two and three. Yeah. What if we started it, Errol, what if we started at like 6 o'clock here? That way it's, an in, it's a different setting. Mm -hmm. And if so the planning commission comes late, then it's kind of like That's here. right. That way it gives you a firm start time, but it's still a close location for them. Right. Uh, right. All right.
So we're talking April 18th, Monday, April 18th. Six. At six. And here at SPRC. That's right. So that way it gives, because the problem we ran into last time is they dig into an item that Matt right. and I aren't expecting. Right. We just like, we blow our car down at some time. Right. So if we start at six, that'll hopefully give them some time to get through at least most, if not all, of the meeting. And then um, if we have it here, mm -hmm. then we know the meeting will be free, and we, in any case, we can have the workshop start at six. Right. Exactly. Well, good. Good. Very good. Well, um, good. April eighteenth, six p.m. Here, same place. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thanks, Thanks for making the graphs available.